stop doing push-ups like these. I see a lot of athletes not finish the lockout. They duck their heads, their elbows flare out to the sides, and they will lose core. So we're gonna dive into these four common mistakes, what they look like, and how we can fix them. Take a look at what this first mistake looks like, not finishing the lockout. And that refers to locking the arms out to the straight position. So they're usually rushed and fast. So we're in a rush trying to do as many push-ups as possible. We're not thinking about the whole range of motion and we're never actually finishing to that straight arm position. So this is a key piece to making sure that we get the whole range of motion and prepare the elbows for other things that involve locking like handstands or handstand push-ups where we will be in this lockout position. Really skipping that whole range and not preparing our elbows or getting the full use of our triceps in this push-up. So let's take a look at how we can fix this. Slow the push-up down, let's think about the technique and making sure that we're pausing at the top. Okay, you can see Blake's elbows are locked and straight at the top. So that's the first piece. Slow it down, emphasize the top, Next, we can start to think about uh, how can we regress this? So let's maybe do a push up on the knees and making sure that we can lock the elbows out. So make it easier to make sure you can do the correct technique. Now we're emphasizing the lockout. Maybe the ones before that were too difficult or maybe we're just not aware of it. But that's how we can address fixing that first problem of not locking the elbows out. Push up mistake number two, ducking the head. Let's see what this looks like. So essentially the push-up looks about the same, except you can see how the head is ducked in or craned forwards. And this tends to happen from being fatigued and not thinking about your neck. It also makes it seem like the push-up doesn't need to go as far because your head's touching the floor sooner. So the problem with this is that you're straining the neck in an unusual way and it can put extra stress on the nerves and also lead to headaches. But we've also got to make sure we're thinking about how to neutralize the position and use the neck flexors and make sure that it's in the correct shape. So let's address this in a variety of ways. So first, you want to go with the chin tuck movement. So you can use your two first two fingers and literally push back on your chin to fix this position to neutralize the shape. So you can see Blake will start off, let's start off forwards and then what's the motion like to actually fix the neck position, okay? So we can do that in the plank position and also use a feedback mechanism. So I'm just gonna use a stick and we'll line it up properly with Blake having the head in the correct position. Now, if he were ducked like in the mistake, he wouldn't be contacting the stick. And when he's contacting the stick, he is neutralized and he's using the correct muscles and therefore fixing the problem. And we can also do a whole range of motion with the stick to make sure the head is in the correct position. Okay, so he's got the feedback to see if his head is in line. So that's how we're correcting mistake number two of ducking the head. Push-up mistake number three is having the elbows flare out to the side. And this comes along with the path of least resistance. So it probably feels easier to do push-ups like this, but you're actually probably irritating your shoulders when doing so. So let's look at what this looks like. The elbows are coming directly out to the side instead of what we're calling the 30 to 45 degree plane. So if the elbows are aligned with the shoulders, we do not want that easier to irritate the shoulders. Okay, so to start addressing this, we can start to get the sensation of screwing our hands into the floor, which will get a little bit of this external rotation in the shoulders, and then being conscious of it to making sure that the elbows are tracking more behind than they are to the side. So that's where you need a little bit of a feedback mechanism. Now, if they're too close, you'll feel your lats and triceps rushing up against each other for too much and then you wanna find a little bit of an in-between. But screwing your hands in and feeling your pecs turn on a little bit, and then you'll probably, you should feel more engagement in the triceps. That means you're doing it correctly. Mistake number three of flaring the elbows out to the side and how we can address that one. Our fourth and final push-up mistake that we see is the loose core. And this looks like two main things. It looks like an arched, loose core, or maybe one that's too piked in the hips, and we'll show you what these look like. So first, we'll do the sagging, lower back being arched and not in line. You can see the belly button and lower back are out of line. So this is the sagging core. And let's get the other version, which is maybe an overcompensation 
or fatigue in the shoulders. Now notice the shoulders are behind the hands the whole time and we are no longer in a flat body shape. So these come from maybe not knowing how to neutralize the spine and make that straight body shape. It's also probably coming from fatigue. And again, the path of least resistance, you're just trying to get these push-ups done and this is what your body's doing instead. So regressing back to an easier version and straightening the body out, but also looking at our body fundamental in our Movement Athlete app, which will address how to work on body line, being neutral in different planes and they're facing different ways. So let's look at one of them, just going back to a standard plank and can we neutralize the spine? So going to the top of the push-up, straight arm position and straightening everything out. I think it's key to have a mirror or a phone or a friend tell you if this is correct because if you're just doing it by yourself, you don't know if it's correct. And we can also do this on the elbows to practice a different kind of plank. So straightening the body out, understanding which core muscles to engage, how to do the pelvic tilt and straighten the body out when doing so. So let's look at how we can find the neutral position when going through a bad shape and a good shape. We'll show you what this looks like. So starting off in the plank position, let's go through the saggy arch position. Now this could be tight or this could be loose. There are two different ways we can go about it. Now let's over exaggerate, over hollow, and really find that exaggerated shape. And let's find the in-between piece, okay? So it's just right about there. So let's go through the saggy and over hollow. Bad shape, bad shape, good shape, bad shape. Going to this over exaggerated hollow bad shape and then finding neutral, okay? You've gotta find both extremes to know what too arched and too hollow feels like to find the neutral position for the push-up. So that's how we can start to address the body line in these push-ups. And when the core sags, a whole array of other issues take place. If you notice, I mentioned the shoulders were behind the hands. Now you're not getting full engagement of the chest and shoulders, and then it breaks down from there. So regressing back, fixing the body line through core components, checking out the body line fundamental in our app are great solutions to this one. So how strong are you? Calisthenics is the ultimate in body weight training because it's fun, challenging, and rewarding. But it's also difficult to know where to start in the whole process. So that's why we created a free calisthenics fitness assessment. And what this will do is we'll help you find out exactly where you are, your pathway of calisthenics mastery. It'll help create personalized workouts for you. It'll help you achieve your goals faster. So we want everyone to have access to this regardless of their budget and location. So as long as you have internet, you'll be able to take control of your fitness program. So click below for the free assessment tool.